Hello, I'm Richard Ray, and joining me now is Derek Augustine. He's originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. He's made his mark in acting world, everything from video games to feature films. And he's in the upcoming psychological thriller, Night Night. He plays the very determined and quick-thinking detective Grant Shepard. Thanks for joining us, Derek. Joining us, Derek. And tell me, what'd you do to prepare for this part, this detective part? Uh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Um... Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't never have a role like this. I definitely do my, my homework and background. And uh, I reached out to a cousin of mine who's in uh, New Orleans, the police department, and uh, interviewed him for a little bit of questions and uh, just to get his mannerisms and his, you know, his, his persona on, on the character. And uh, I watched documentaries, interviews with, with detectives and stuff of that nature. And last but not least, I actually went to the local police department in Corsicana, Texas, and spent some time with the detectives there. So uh it and it also helped that you know one of the producers were is the lead guy. <laughs> so yeah, we, yeah, Robert Johnson, he probably was a big help. Yeah, he was a great help. <laughs> and uh he was very very welcoming and very uh knowledgeable and he really helped me uh get you know get get into this character which I I, I totally appreciate. Oh you smile about it. It looks like you really enjoyed playing this character. Yeah, I did. This is my first time playing a detective. And, um, you know, I, I just, I think throughout an actor's career, he's going to play a detective. You know, one, one way or another, it, it's going to happen. It's, you can't, you, you, it's, you're going to reach that point. And this is my first time doing that. And, um, man, it was just uh, exciting because, you know, you get to really induce yourself in that character and in that, in that, in that role. And, you get a sense of what these guys go through in their day-to-day -day lives and their, their jobs. So yeah, I, I was. I'm, that's why I'm like, you know, smiling and all like. Talk a little bit about working with uh, uh, Nikki Koss, who's directed things before, but not a feature film before. It, it, what kind of experience was that? It was cool because this is her first time, like, as you said, her first time, her first feature. So just watching how she navigates her first time directing uh, debut as far as feature role. And also um, the relation, personal relationship we, we we have because we we had the uh we had the same manager that's how we met and uh she presented me with this project and i was like you're doing it yeah let's do it and i read the script and i was i was sold and um she is a, a, a ball of light in, in a sense you know she has so much character and so much um personality and we mesh really well so it, it was phenomenal and uh, we're, we're still friends to this day <laughs> How did you get involved in the project? Talk about the casting process for you. Well, we, we like I said, we have the same, Nikki and I have the same manager. So uh, at the time, my manager um, presented me the project and was like, hey, one of our clients is doing this. Take a look at it. And I read the script and I was like, I want to I wanna play. I want to play this guy. I want to play this, this detective. And um, I've inter I interacted with Nikki. We had a FaceTime and then a Zoom. And we kind of was on the same page. And, and that was it. You know, she she um, she saw my my previous work and she thought I could handle the, the character and uh, I think I did a good job with it. <laughs> and it all worked out okay. It, another unique part about this film is was it was filmed in a relatively small town in sort of central Texas, Corsicana. Was that a different experience for you? Uh, you know, I grew up in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I, I filmed some projects in in New Orleans. But my grandparents lived two hours from New Orleans in a small town. So I was kind of used, I'm kind of used to that small town, country, rural part. Um, but filming in a small town like that, I've never filmed in any <laughs> small town like that. When it's like, you have literally not too many locations. So we made the best of it though. And it was like a small family, you know, that, that whole town is, is a big family. And everyone knows everyone, the neighbors know everyone, you know, the, 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 it's, it's just that small community and they embrace you. And we all spent our times going to the local diners and uh, local restaurants and the local coffee shop. And we, we learned so much about the town and the city. And, and you know, it was a, a great experience for me. Decidedly different from filming in, say, Los Angeles. Oh, yes, yeah, a lot different. <laughs> but, you know, we made, as actors and, and artists and um, cast and crew, we, we make the best of it, you know, because we, we're all, we're doing what we love. And, it, that's what we, we were there at that time and we made a we made an experience sounds like you have a lot of fun memories but can you pick out one or two you want to share about uh, shooting this film night night 
Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. Um, so Brenna and I, we we during the, the the duration during the filming, we 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 got like a a brother sister relationship now. And before uh, one of the last scene, I think we we looked at each other, we started bursting out laughing. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's that's one. And a second one is at the house. We, we were we were all still we standing one staying in one of the producers' home, and we would all play Monopoly, and that was our thing. You know, we we, we got together, we played Monopoly, and and had some fun. So that that's the, the memories that that I'm uh, that's resonated with me. That sounds unusual to have that kind of camaraderie and and sort of a team effort kind yeah. of filming. Well, you, usually when when you're on a great project with great people, you, you, you tend to start to build camaraderie, especially when, when you're around people like, like-minded and in the same age group, you, you have to bond. And we, that's what we did. We bond and we're all still friends today. We all still hang out, which, um, and I, I hold that dear to my heart. Let's jump ahead for Derek Augustine. Do you have a dream project or a goal for yourself professionally that maybe you haven't uh, hit yet? Maybe a, a new venue of creativity that you haven't explored? Well, I'm, um, I'm a writer as well, and my passion project, it's a feature film, it's a historical epic, it's called uh, The 25th Dynasty, which is based off of um, King Pianchi, who was uh, a black pharaoh in 730 BC, and it's about how he claimed his, reclaimed his lands of Egypt during the third intermediate um, period, so um, that's my passion project that I want to produce and act in, I want to play the lead antagonist. So yeah, that that's like my that's my not my end goal, but definitely a goal I want to I want to strike really soon. That sounds fascinating. T- tell me about your your biggest influences when it comes to acting or or maybe writing and, and other things. What, who what has influenced you? Who has influenced you? Well, my my mother had a big influence on my career. I have a twin brother, and she like forced us to do acting when we were, when we were younger, <laughs> and I fell in love with it, man. And I started in theater. And that that built the foundation of my career, and and I I really I thank her for that. And and you know my mother unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago, but um, you know she she still holds a dear place in my heart. And another uh, person who's actually in the industry who I don't know, but hopefully I'll, I'll get to work one day is is Will Smith. You know I grew up watching Fresh Prince of Bel Air and a bunch of his movies, and I always always you know wondered what it would be like to work with him. And it's crazy how a person like that can have an impact on your life and your career. And they don't even know it, you know, just by their presence and them being successful in their own way. What are some projects you're working on now? Can you share? Uh, certainly you've got uh, new projects you're into. Uh, talk yeah. to a little bit about one, but. Yeah, I, uh, I just, uh, Godfather Harlem season two is out where I played Muhammad Ali. And I think season two is, uh, is kind of a little bit better than season one, man, because on the specific topics that they, they touch upon. Um, I have another show for Apple TV, it's called Swagger. And uh, it's Kevin Durant's story as far as him growing up in AU basketball. And I play uh, uh, like a, a famous basketball player, which is cool. Um, and I uh, just did NBA 2K22, um, my character's back in that. And now it's just on to that next project. So right now I'm focused on booking another project, which is I have meetings and pitch i mean meetings and producer sessions almost every other day all of that sounds interesting if folks want to follow you follow where your career is going what's the best way to follow you best way is instagram it's just Derek augustine d-e-r-i-c a-u-g-u-s-t-i-n-e i'm on twitter as well and it's the same handle and uh yeah that, that's that's about it that's how you can find me on the socials and Derek augustine thanks for joining me man hope to see you again thanks hope to see you again <laughs>